Hi guys, Allison here. Happy Fuse Glass Friday. So this week's project, as you can see, I have my little um, plan that I made on the computer and then I've already cut the base piece. So this week's project is a scorpion and then the constellation Scorpius. Uh, my birthday is next week and I was discussing with my husband last night what I should make for this project. A birthday cake project for myself felt weird, so it was actually his idea to do a scorpion. So thank you David for the idea, let's hope I do well. So I decided to make the base piece here, this amber color. Uh, the November birthstone is topaz, which I have never really liked, but I think this amber color is really pretty. So that's why I decided to go with that. And then again, I have the hexagon shape that I made a project a couple videos back with. I thought that would be fun. Initially, I was going to do a, a circle, but I just, I really like the hexagon. So that's what we're going to go with. So let me zoom out here and I will get started. This out of the way. Um, I'm gonna work on the constellation first, and I, I have all this dichroic glass that's sort of in the same color palette, so like red, orange, yellow. I thought that would be cool. And this is all dichro that's backed with black as opposed to clear. So I was gonna use a combination of these different dichroic glass as well as some black glass. So I think I'm gonna use this sort of bubble guy for the bigger stars here. So of course the this is super textured so it's gonna be easier for me to cut on the black side which is flat but I thought it would be kind of cool to get the individual bubbles so I'm not sure how we're gonna do that on the black side. I'm gonna mm, that's not going to work. All right, let's just see what happens.
All right, I really like how that has turned out so far. Um, for the smaller stars here, I'm gonna use one of these other dichroic colors. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I really like how those bubbles look. That's, I think that was a good decision. Okay, so let me line this back up and then I'm gonna go ahead and with the, the lines between, I'm just gonna use some black stringers, cut those down pretty small. Uh, <laughs> my guidelines are a little bit wavy. That's just the tool I was using in Adobe Illustrator. I didn't bother to make them straight because I knew that the stringers I would be using would be straight enough.
Alrighty, that looks good to me. I know I didn't add the super teeny tiny ones between these guys, but I'm okay with that. I think artistically this looks better than if I was trying to connect them all exactly. So we're going to move on to the scorpion part now. I'm just going to sweep up this area so I don't keep cutting myself. So for the scorpion, I'm just going to start with a just a layer of black first, just to get down the basic shape. And then I think I'm going to just add some dichro details on top, maybe. So let's see how that goes.
This is why I usually uh, wipe off the stringers after I've bent them because I hate getting this black stuff on my fingers in case anyone was wondering. I know I've been asked that before in previous videos. So I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to move on to adding some Dico details to this guy. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. Maybe just little like, like ridges or spots down his back. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to use this color that I haven't used yet. Just debating if I should give him eyes or not. I don't I don't think I like that. I think oops. I think it's I think it's done. <laughs> I think sometimes it's easy to try and add more and more and more, but I am pleased with that. I think that looks really pretty cool. Let me zoom in a little bit. So as always, I will be back tomorrow and show you guys this project after it's been fired. So I'll see you then. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back. It's the next day. I have my finished fired project here. Uh, let me zoom in so we can see some more of these details. I really enjoy how this turned out. I think the 
Dicro is really effective. I love the way it sparkles. I mean, everybody loves sparkly Dicro. I, uh, I do think sometimes I, I don't like it when it's just a big square of Dicro in the middle of a piece for kind of no reason. I much prefer to make smaller little detailed bits just to add a little bit of sparkle. That's how I like to use Dicro. Uh, overall, pretty, really happy with this. So thank you to my husband David for giving me this great idea. Uh, and then also my mom had the idea when I told her I was making this. She said, oh no, every other month you can also do the zodiac sign. So let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. Each month I can do, you know, next month I could do Sagittarius, then Capricorn in January. Uh, other than that, if you like this project and would like to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do put out a new video every Friday. And happy either early or belated birthday to all of my other fellow Scorpios out there. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!